I went out looking for a job. Then one of my uncles who was working at a hotel, he had met uh, Mr. Hubbard. He advised me to go and see Mr. Hubbard at uh, 31 John Pledge serving. And I went there to see him. I, I found one of his uh, cook named Chambo. I spoke to him about that I wanted to see Mr. Hubbard. Oh, Mr. Hubbard came, uh, he spoke to me. Uh, I showed him my papers, my school papers, school certificates, and told him that I was looking for a job. I was from school, I had never worked, I had no experience. And well, he was interested in me, and he said, okay, you can come and start your job tomorrow, the following day. I was very excited with the reception that I got from him and to got a job at the same time. He was so friendly, you know, for a new person who has never worked, you know. <laughs> he bought a motorbike so that I could get into town to do the posting of letters and things like that. Yeah, since I was doing part of the messenger job. He told me to ride on a motorbike. I had never ridden a motorbike at all. I was shown how to change the gears, how to accelerate. He was laughing all the time when I, when I was going around the, the, the yard. He laughed and said, oh, you are very clever. Then Mr. Albert wanted me to drive his master. It was a left-hand car, and I had never driven a left-hand car before. He said, no, jump in, I'll teach you. And from that day on, he could send me in the car. Then one time, we went to Bumi Hills. It's a very nice place in Kariba, on the Zambezi River. On our way, we saw some wild animals, elephants, baboons, monkeys, and giraffes. And we could stop and get some photographs of the animals. There were so many, we didn't even count the numbers. But uh, anyway, we managed uh, to reach Pumi Hills. He had plans to develop that place for it to be a big hotel, a big resort area for visitors from all over the world, as he was saying about the place. And he uh, went to see the surveyors, the architects who were doing the plans of the buildings to be erected. One time, he asked me to go into town, to Baba's. And I parked the car outside. I remained outside and they went into the shop. He stayed there for some time and came back holding a parcel and I went to uh, receive the parcel, put it in the car. Uh, we drove back over to the offices and said, this is your parcel. Well, I opened the parcel, it was just set. So it was, uh, it was very nice. At that time, you couldn't end up in Barbas. It was exclusively for white people. If you go there, you'll be chased out. That's why Mr. Hubbard, if he's buying a shirt or whatever for himself, was going to buy something for me also. He just said, I don't like this system, this racism in this country. I think that prompted him to write the Constitution. He taught me to operate the Ronio machine. And then Mr. Abbott gave me a stencil. Yeah. I, I ran the copies of the Constitution, then stuck them page by page. After which I went to post the, the Constitution to various people who had been addressed on envelopes. It was advocating for the people of Rhodesia to live together, not to have uh, classes of uh, Europeans, colors, Africans, no. He wanted people together to be one. He liked everybody. Especially us, the workers, his workers, we were very happy to have a man like Mr. Hubbard. 